It is 1442 local time in Paris. On runway 26 right at Charles de Gaulle Airport, Air France Flight 4590 accelerates toward the sky in the most elegant commercial aircraft ever built, the Concorde. In exactly two minutes and five seconds, this symbol of French engineering will become a ball of fire that will fall upon the city of Gonesse, taking with it not only 113 lives, but also the future of commercial supersonic aviation. The Concorde was not simply an airplane, it was a masterpiece of aerospace engineering. Born from Franco-British collaboration in the 1960s, this bird of fire could fly at Mach 2.04, that is, 2,180 kilometers per hour, more than twice the speed of sound. At 60,000 feet altitude, where the sky appears purple and Earth's curvature is visible, the Concorde reigned supreme over all other commercial aircraft. The development of the Concorde had begun in 1962, when France and Great Britain decided to join forces to create the world's first commercial supersonic aircraft. Its first flight took place on March 2, 1969, and commercial service began in January 1976. For 24 years, the Concorde had operated without a single fatal accident, establishing an incomparable safety record in commercial aviation. Air France Flight 4590 on that Tuesday, July 25th, 2000, was no different from hundreds of other Concorde flights. The assigned aircraft was F-BTSC, built in 1975 with 25 years of impeccable service. On board traveled 100 German passengers, mostly affluent retirees who had paid more than 8,000 euros each for the privilege of flying at the speed of sound to New York, where they would board the MS Deutschland cruise ship for a 16-day journey through the Caribbean. Commanding the flight was Captain Christian Marty, 54 years old, with 13,477 flight hours in his career. Marty was considered one of Air France's best Concorde pilots, known for his technical precision and calm under pressure. Flying as co-pilot was Jean Marco, 50 years old, with 10,853 hours of experience, also an experienced Concorde veteran. It was a hot summer Tuesday in Paris, with a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and perfect flying conditions. At Charles de Gaulle Airport, operations proceeded normally. The Concorde F-BTSC had arrived the previous night from New York, and technicians had completed routine checks without finding any anomalies. At 13.00, passengers began the boarding process at the exclusive Concorde terminal. It wasn't simply standing in line and boarding the plane, it was a ceremony. Complimentary champagne in the VIP lounge, photographs next to the world's most famous aircraft, 